What's up y'all, it's B-Boy Zulu Gremlin. I'm here at Break Advice, representing B-Boy in four decades and more. Let's go. My break advice for you today is, for all those B-Boys out there, is to start at the beginning and learn your boyo yoing. So first, let me just demonstrate what the boyo yoing is. Now, a boyo yoing is actually like a sound that kind of symbolizes like how a ball bounces, like boing, yoing, boing, boing. So in that respect, you think of what, what it would be. From the top rock style of bouncing around, being on your toes, on the ball of your feet, where you're, start, where you're starting to bouncing. From traditional rocking of bouncing off the back of your ankles without your arms, just being able to bounce off of that bounce. Now from there, you're gonna have the front side boyo yoing, in which you take your weak side outward, and you're gonna extend your leg, and it's like you're going over a little bit of a mountain, like a little bit of a heel. You're bouncing off of the foot to create this arch. So the boyo yoing, just as a move in itself, would be from, from traditional rocking, would be reaching out, bouncing off of this foot, extending your foot so you can show off your sneakers and your style, adding some character into the boyo yoing, into a pin drop or a four freeze. So the way you would use a boyo yoing in footwork, simply from a footwork, spin around and a boyo yoing. A little bit faster so you can see what it would look like from your top rock, footwork, boyo yoing. So as footwork represents a faster rhythm of da 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 the boyo yoing would go da 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 boom. You can add style and flavor to it by placing your hand on your hip, placing your hand on your chin. If you're battling, you might want to point at somebody, throw them a D, or whatever you want to do to it. You would add your own personal character and style to a boyo yoing. A boyo yoing can come from many different places, so maybe directly from a top rock, you might want to hit a swivel down and go right into your boyo yoing. Or you might want to travel toward your opponent. So, you can hit your footwork and then travel all the way toward your boom to bring the boyo yoing to give a presence of battle spirit right in their face. A boyo yoing can come from many different places, but for this segment, the idea is for b-boys out there, they should know that before there was all of these incredibly intricate footwork texts, there was a style, this boyo yoing of bouncing off your feet. Even if you wanted to just bounce here, that boyo yoing style of bouncing off of your feet gives you a different musicality, a different rhythm, dancing the record. The record should tell you when you do your boyo yoing. It should also give you the rhythm and musicality of what parts of the record or the notes or maybe a horn hit to be able to hit in the process. A boyo yoing can give you a transitional move, which once you're landing your boyo yoing from this position, it can open up so you can make eye contact. It can give you into switch out, it can give you a lot of opportunities of where you want to go from that one particular step. This is Zulu Gremlin, this is my break advice to you. Before you get into the circle, before you get in battle, before you start practicing any spins or power or any of those things, start at the beginning. Boyo yoing, rest in peace, Frosty Freeze.